Ukrainian National Guard soldier Vitaly Markiv has returned home. The Milan Court of Appeals acquitted him in the murder of an Italian correspondent. The Minister of Internal Affairs is preparing a claim to the European Court of Human Rights for the fact that an innocent Ukrainian was kept in prison for three years. Details in our report. In front of the maximum security prison opera not far from Milan, a soldier of the National Guard of Ukraine, Vitaly Markev, is met by journalists, representatives of the Ukrainian authorities, the diaspora and his mother. The Milan Court of Appeal has dropped charges against Markev for the murder of Italian journalist Andrea Rukeli. The latter died in 2014 during the battles near Slovyansk in the Donetsk region. Markev says he didn't believe in the acquittal. This is an extraordinary event. We have shown that truth exists, justice exists. And my first conviction proved that Kremlin propaganda has no limits. The struggle for the release of Markiv lasted more than three years. The first instance, Kart sentenced him to 24 years in prison. Ukrainian investigators conducted dozens of interrogations and examinations to prove the innocence of the National Guard soldier. It was established that Vitaly was far from the place of the journalist's death and could not shoot him. Today the team of lawyers and the team of our accomplices, all those who gathered here today were able to present arguments. And the Milan Court of Appeals made a decision, a courageous decision. Because the trial court ignored the facts as they were, Vitaly could not shoot the journalist. Vitaly was elsewhere, and his accusations were thoroughly based only on the testimony of French journalists. The Ukrainian side sought to reconsider the case of Vitaly Markiv at the highest level. The negotiations were also led by the President Volodymyr Zelensky. The head of state considers the release of the Ukrainian a victory of justice. This news gives all of us strength and faith in the success of the further struggle for every citizen of Ukraine who, unfortunately, is still illegally held captive or in prison. None of them is forgotten. We will return everyone. Great Britain reacted to the release of Vitaly Markiv. Ambassador Melinda Simmons called the decision of the Milan Court of Appeals fair and congratulated all those involved who fought for the release of the Ukrainian. Reported by Roman Smoller, Natalia Hayevska, UATV News.